everybody, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied with another knitting video tutorial for you. Today we're going to take a look at how to work what's called the Rick Rack Rib Stitch, but we're going to work it flat. It can also be worked in the round, and I have a video tutorial for that elsewhere on the Hands Occupied channel. Just remember to search Rick Rack Rib Stitch. So a little background on the Rick Rack Rib. Um, it I originally came across it in Barbara Walker's uh, First Treasury of Knitting Patterns on page 44 if you have the book. And um, it is really cool. It's this funky stitch inspired by Rick Rack Ribbon, which was you know all over the place in the middle of the last century. And I think it's a really funky and fun way to change up your knitting. So let me show you how to do this fun stitch. To cast on the Rick Rack rib stitch, you're going to need to cast on a multiple of three stitches plus one. So for demonstration's sake, we're looking at seven stitches on this needle. One multiple of three, two multiples of three, plus an additional stitch. So the first row of this stitch, it's a two row repeat, and the first row is your right side row, which we're looking at right here. So the right side row begins with a purl one, and then we take our yarn to the back of our work. Now we're going to skip the first stitch on the left-hand needle and work into the back half of that second loop. So we're knitting into the back loop of the second loop. And without sweeping any stitches off of our needle, we're going to bring our needle to the front and knit the first stitch almost like normal, but with that extra stitch wrapped around it. And so once we've worked that one, we sweep both loops off our needle. And taking a look at our stitch, we see that that loop we just created leans left. Now we're gonna purl one and do that again. So again, we'll skip the first loop on our left-hand needle, knit the second one through the back, and without sweeping anything off our needle, we'll work through the front of the other stitch and sweep both loops off before ending the row with an easy purl one. Looking at our work right here, you can see again, those loops lean left on the right side of our work. Now we're gonna turn to the wrong side and continue. Wrong side rows start with a knit one, which is easy enough. And then you bring the yarn to the front of the work. And now we skip the first stitch like before, but we purl into the second one. And again, without sweeping any loops off the left-hand needle, we purl that first loop and sweep both off. And to repeat it, we knit one, bring our yarn to the front and purl into the second loop, leaving the first one on. Then we purl into the first loop and we finish our row with a knit one. So kind of funky and twisty and almost cable-y, but the finished result of the Rick Rack Rib Stitch is super duper pretty and funky and fun. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. Uh, subscribe for even more knitting video tutorials from me, and I can't wait to see you back here again soon. Bye.